What's happening guys? Safety liner C2 here. What the heck? Why aren't you going? Why is that in neutral? But it wasn't. Okay, whatever. Uh, using a old mic and the keyboard, so yeah. Just a heads up. And yeah. I am in North Helens today. I have not been here for a while. So I figured, you know, the heck, why not? And I'm driving a, whoa, Volks FS65 because I have not driven this in a while either. And I've clearly not driven with the keyboard for a while because it is pretty hard for me to do that. <clears throat> so, yeah, how are you guys? I hope you are having a fantastic day. Um, yeah. Don't really have a whole lot of stories to tell, you know, just, uh, don't really have anything in particular that I want to talk about here, you know. Um, I've got an, I've got a ceremony I'm going to tomorrow. I'm uh, going to play a small part in that. Um, every time I do these little ceremonies that I get invited to, I usually do the same part. And uh, once again, I'm doing that part. So it's like a, uh, I'll go in the back of the room where no one can see me and I'll either take a microphone or talk a lot louder and I'll say a two-page script and uh yeah so that's always something i've done it i don't know probably six or seven times at this point but and then i've got one next week that i'm going to be the master of ceremonies of which i have not done that before for this particular ceremony that i'm going to be putting on. Uh, so that'll be interesting. I don't know if it's going to be a set script or just bullet points or, you know, whatever. So hopefully I can, I'm able to come up with something if it is just bullet points or, you know, or whatever. And then the weekend after that, which is the June 4th, which is probably around the video or around the time this video is going up, then I'll have another one, which I think I'm just going to attend and I don't have to do anything in. I think, as of right now, we'll we'll end up we'll see what ends up happening. Um, but who knows? You know, I, I just need to get this off of my mind also. I am really craving a brown cinnamon Pop-Tart. Because that sounds really freaking good right now. And I'd go out and get some, but, you know, it's 11 at night. So, that's... I mean, I, I could drive to the store, but I can't... Oh, Walmart's open, come to think of it. But I'm not driving all the way to Walmart just to get a small box of brown cinnamon Pop-Tarts. Wait, is that, is that all that's up here? Is this all that's up here? Really? I could have sworn there was... Ah, uh, whatever. Whatever. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to be able to do a good amount of live streams in the summer. Um, I've kind of nailed down that I don't have any major plans other than this camp that I'm doing in June. That's really my only major thing that I am aware of. Um, there has been some back and forth that my mom and I will go out to California for either a couple days or a week 
which would be super cool. Go and visit my uncle and my cousin out there, um, who I haven't seen in years. Um, there's talk of that. I'm not exactly sure on whether or not that will happen, and if it does happen, when. But I know all throughout July that one of my brothers has to go to summer school because this is the stupidest thing. This is, this is really dumb. In order, there, he's he's going into seventh grade. There's two levels of math. There's, uh, I think I think in middle school it's still level one and level two. Level one is the basic, and level two is more advanced. So, this year, his sixth grade year, he was in level one, just the basic math. But next year, he signed up to do level two, and he had to. He has to go to summer school for seven hours a day for four weeks in those seven hours just doing math, which I think is really stupid. I think that's, you know, I yeah, I understand that you want to get them all caught up because there might not be, you know, they might not have taught this or that. But let's face it, especially with the younger guys, the the middle schoolers, they're probably going to forget it anyway. Even those people in the level two. Like, for example, in high, when I was in high school, we had two levels. We had uh, K and L. L was the lower level. K was the higher level. I'm no good at math. Um, so I was always in L, the lower level. You know, I was not, you know, I can't do math that wonderful, um, that great. So, my freshman, sophomore, and junior year, I was in L level, but my senior year, I wanted to take AP, which is, for those of you who don't know what AP is, it's basically like a national high level. It's like pretty much as high as you can go for, you know, they have this for all of the classes, and it's, you know, it's it's a college course, basically. Um, and, I mean, I didn't have to do that. So, I I don't know. I mean, I think that's kind of stupid, and it sucks because I feel bad for him because, you know, that, you know, he gets one month off, and then he has to go, you know, for, uh, you know, four weeks in July. That's got to suck. I, you know, that's that's the point where I would just say, you know what, I'll just stay in the lower level. I'm... I'll pass on, you know, going to the higher level. So, whatever. Yeah, but like I said, I, I don't think I have any major summer plans, so hopefully there should be a decent amount of videos coming out through the summer. Um, I'll try and be getting those up, you know, regularly, once, once every other day, possibly once a day, if I come up with enough videos to do that. But generally, it'll probably be every other day. I, you know, I don't know. I, you really can't predict this stuff, especially with someone like me because I'm always, you know, I never know my schedule because something is always going to pop up at the last minute, so. That was light, but whatever. Out of curiosity, okay. But yeah, I mean, like, I want to say that I'll do this or this, but, you know, and then maybe uh, a weekly stream if possible, if at all possible, getting, you know, a once a week stream, um, maybe I've been doing my recent streams on Fridays, um, I don't know if you guys are interested in that, because the streams really are a lot of fun, they are, um, 
and they're always unpredictable too, which, you know, that's, that kind of adds to the fun factor. I get to interact with you guys, um, you know, because normally it's just interacting through comments and, you know, it. I'll respond like a couple hours after you send it. And then, you know, just getting a, a real, you know, sense that you're actually there and whatnot, I guess. And not just some like computer generated uh you know what i'm not even gonna computer generated um you know random comment oh my no yeah really come on come on come on come on come on come on no or not nah. oops i had it in Here we go. Okay. Now, if I had my wheel, this would certainly be a lot easier, but... Let's see, I've, I used to do this regularly. Or no. Nah. I mean... Wait, can I actually save this one? Nope. Not gonna try. Okay, well, that was certainly something. I got a haircut today. It feels good, you know. I, I mean, I know you guys normally don't like see my hair and everything, hardly ever, if at all. But, you know, there are times where I just won't, you know, get it cut for a while. And this was one of those times. And I got it cut all, you know, all shortened out and everything. And it feels really good. So. I mean, the people I go to, she's been doing my hair for ever since I moved down here. Uh, how long? Nine years almost, you know. So. She knows what she's doing when she cuts my hair. So. Oops. It's weird to think I've been living in Texas for nine years now. It doesn't seem like that long. It really doesn't, because I think... I think at this point I will have lived here this year. will have lived here longer than anywhere else, if I'm not mistaken. So, um... I moved down here in Texas in 07. I think it was June of 07. Um, let's see. So, 98 through 07. Okay. So that's nine years. So, nine years I lived up in Maryland and nine years down here. Okay. Yeah. And then one year in various other states various states being Illinois and Indiana. You know what, I, I didn't, uh, if you guys watched the last live stream, I don't know when this video is going up, so it might have been, I might have done another stream since then, um, but one of my oldest subscribers, very, you know, going way back to when I had maybe 20 or 30 subscribers, um, he was watching the stream, which was uh, very, it was awesome, because um, he, he had just dropped off the map one day, he just kind of like disappeared, and we had, you know, Noah and I had no way of contacting him, um, other than YouTube, and he just really dropped off the map, and he he came back on my channel on, under a different name. He was like, guess who I am? And I'm like, I have no idea who you are. <laughs> so, 
So we sit there for about like 10 minutes, just going back and forth, just like, I don't, I, you know, you've got to give me some sort of clues. And he gives me a bunch of clues and I, you know, I wouldn't have guessed that it was him because I haven't talked to him since like 2012 or something. You know, it's been ages since I've last talked to him. Um, but it was, it was good. It was nice to talk to him. And, you know, it's interesting. Uh, I asked why he was watching the stream. Or, and, you know, because I'd never seen his, I'd never seen him post on any of my stuff. Uh, hence, you know, since I didn't know. Okay, let's see where we're going first. Um, you know, I didn't recognize the name or anything. So, he had never you know, posted under that name or anything. I guess we're gonna go over there. Yeah. Um. Oh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, but I had never seen him post under that name before. So, I, I thought he was new, so I was, you know, treating him as, you know, you know, what, uh, but he told me that he, he, uh, was, you know, just, <laughs> just thinking about the, the days where we used to, you know, do all that, um, because him and Noah and I, we, we would do a lot of stuff together. We were, um, we did so much content, YouTube content. You know, it, those those two were, you know, um, what the heck? Oh, that's a monorail system. <laughs> Guess we can't do that. Um, you know, but um, those two, we did so much stuff together. And, uh, you know, each of us have moved on in our own direction um, now, but... He said, you know, he was just thinking of, you know, those. And he typed in my channel just to see what was, you know, where I had gotten to when, since the four years that we had, you know, last talked. And it just so happened that I was streaming at the time. You know, I was. it's really ironic that he happened to catch me while I was streaming. So... That was, that was good, that I was genuinely surprised, I mean, that, that made my day, you know, so, you know what, I was talking to James earlier today, and he, he was like, hey, I'll be back in a couple minutes. I'm going to go get, I'm going to go get a drink. Okay, whatever. This fool comes back with six orange sodas. And he's like, yeah, I just got six orange sodas. And I'm like, why do you need six orange sodas? And he's like, so the, the, uh, vending machine down the hall, he, he lives in apartments or, you know, uh, or outside around the corner, wherever it is. Um, he's like, yeah, if you put in 75 cents, then it will give you two orange sodas instead of one. But it only does that with the orange sodas. And I'm like, what? I need one of these. This is, that's great. And I mean, really, um, I, you know, I don't, I still don't understand why he needed six of them. But, um, that was, that was something. Where haven't we gone? And on here, oh, I know where we haven't, we haven't gone way back there. I know I'm being real specific by saying way back there. Let's see, oh yeah, I forgot about that. So we could go up there. Yeah, let's go up there. Whoa. Whoa. Oh gosh, come on, come on, come on. Ah. Really? 
I don't ask much of you. Okay. There we go. Alright, let's go up here and see, you know, see what's going on up here. Whoa, getting real close to the edge. You know what I hate about myself? I, I procrastinate a lot. And, uh... I mean, I know that I do it, and I try to avoid it, but it still, you know, um, comes to me. And I procrastinated a lot today, and I was, it, it wasn't also, it wasn't procrastination as much as it was distract, distracted. I had stuff that I needed to get done today, and I wanted to get, you know, a real good amount of work done, but I just didn't. I just, you know, kind of avoided it, and, you know, I need to get this stuff done, it's, it's for my camp, um, that I'm doing, and, you know, I need to get it done, because I have, like, two weeks left, and, I mean, yeah, I'm, I, you know, I have time, but I wanted to get it done now, so that I could worry about, you know, stuff that comes up then, instead of, um, you know, stuff that I, you know, could have done two weeks ago, or whatever, you know, and, you know, I, I always have procrastinated, and I'm easily distracted about this stuff, but, you know, and there, there are some days where I am in a working mood, and I want to get stuff done, and I will get stuff done, and I will work all day, non-stop, you know, and I will, just, you know, pound through everything, but those days are very rare, and I, I mean, I'm gonna probably have one of those days coming up here real soon, I'll probably have like two or three of those in, in one of the coming up weeks, um, but I mean, I need to have one of those, you know, tomorrow, that would be awesome, but um, kind of have plans tomorrow, so... You see, I, I have to do it on a day where I have nothing, no plans at all, like, you know, and I have to get my mind in, uh, in the mind, there's nothing up here, there's nothing up here, really, I just drove all the way up here for nothing, uh, shows you how much I go on, on North Highlands, uh, whatever, but you know, I don't know, and and you know, you guys know that I moved houses uh, at the beginning of this year, and the thing that sucks, you know, I, I kind of miss the old house, and I'll tell you why, it's that room to myself, that place that I could call my own, and just go away and escape from everything, that, you know, I had, multi, I had two desks, um, so I, you know, I had multiple working spots and you know I always had everything so organized and everything and you know it was just a place that I could go and do stuff on my own but the thing about the new place not so new now it's you know we've been living there five months is that I have to you know I have to share it and I you know I I understand why don't get me wrong I know why I'm sharing it and you know that you know, times are tough and whatnot, but it's just not the same type of environment. And our apartment is really small, so there's, you know, the, my room is like the only place in the house I can go to try and work. And, you know, even, even at my dad's house, it's like, I just have to be in a, in a certain environment, and over there, I don't 
you know, that's not the environment that, um, that I envision, I guess. I guess. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I just don't have the proper tools over there that, um, that would work for me working, I guess, if that made any sense. But, you know, it, it sucks. I need, like, I need an office, you know? Just somewhere where I can close the door, you know, sit behind a desk, be it edit a video, type up my an email, or, you know, this and that. And, I, heck, I'll be honest, part of the reason I've been cutting down on videos is just because... I, you know, I'm sharing the room with my brother and just talking and talking and talking to a camera, or, well, talking into a microphone, rather. Um, you know, it, it's just a little bit weird, and I mean, I'm, you know, it, I don't want to say it's personal stuff. It, it's really not, but, um, you know, I, there's also the point where he would probably get really annoyed um, by, you know, me sitting in my chair here at the desk, you know, just rambling on and on and on. Um, so I, I, you know, and everything is so condensed that, you know, everyone uh, can hear me. So I try and like, the, there's not a good amount of times that I can just go out and record videos as, as I did at the old house where I could just go up my room was the furthest away, it was super far from everyone else's, and I could just sit there and I could record, you know, 10 videos if I wanted to, and just, you know, talk about whatever I needed to get off my mind, so, you know, whatever, I mean, it's gonna happen, so, yeah. See, I think we're we're almost at 30 minutes, I think. I think we're at the 25-minute range, somewhere around there. Not exactly sure. Eh, why not? I never do it. Yeah, that's not bad. It didn't really go down at all. I wonder what happens if I turn it all the way. Yeah. Isn't there like a high beam also? I don't know. You know, if you drive, maybe you maybe you experience this. There's some points where like people tell me to turn my lights on while I'm driving, but you really don't need to. Like the other day I was driving down the road. It's still very bright out. And it these people are telling me, oh, you know, turn your lights on. They're, they're flashing their light. They turned on their high beams. They flipped their high beams a bunch of times. And I'm just like, what the heck? Are, I mean, why do you want me to turn on my lights? It's so clear out and it's so bright out. And yeah, I know some, some places it's like, you know, after six, you must turn on your headlights or whatever. But heck, it was like five o'clock, you know? I don't know. Whatever. Am I just am I just sitting here just rambling on about random junk? I mean, I know I am. <laughs> you don't need to tell me that. Let's go drive around the city real quick and we'll we'll go ahead and wrap this up after that. Driving just all around Rockton, everywhere. Everywhere that I can. I mean yeah, I prob I probably missed a road or two. Oh yeah, there's one up there. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother at this point to even do that. So whatever, that's fine. I can go up there some other time. It will still be there. 
be there or be square. All right, let's go up here. So, yeah, guys, that is pretty much this video for you. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that is pretty much this video for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe right down here. It's magical red button that says you are now subscribed to Safety Liner C2. Make sure you comment up here, down here, or over here, or over here. I don't know where they put it down and where they put it. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up, or I'm going to ramble for another 30 minutes. And make sure you also share this video with a friend, show it to your mom, share it to your dad, show it to a guy in a random street. I don't care, don't get raped. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it, and thanks for watching.